guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you how to use regular nail stickers. So not water decals, no like transfer kind of decals or anything like that, but just regular nail stickers that you peel off of the backing sheet and put straight away onto your nails. Because I've gotten quite a lot of questions on how to use those, especially in combination with regular nail polishes as well, because that is like most easy to use you don't have to cure it in led or uv or anything like that and it is easy to remove as well so i actually got some really cute stickers i bought them at my local drugstore they are by essence cosmetics and as you can see they are one with wildflowers and the other one is actually with tiny gems so they are pretty cute they are really inexpensive as well i think they were like a euro maybe one euro 30 or something like that. So really inexpensive. Of course, you can also get a ton of nail stickers at AliExpress or Amazon or Wish or anything like that. I tend to get mine from Essence Cosmetics, of course, because they are very easy to get by, especially if you're a little bit younger and you're not able or you're not able to order anything from AliExpress or something like that. But yeah, the ones from AliExpress are really easy to use as well. It pretty much goes for every single like regular nail sticker, how to apply them and use them. But yeah, I got so many from AliExpress as well. And you really can think of anything that they don't have because they have Pokemon stickers, they have Sailor Moon ones, they have like a whole bunch of cute like brands pretty much or even animes or TV shows or anything like that. There are so many different ones. But yeah, I really wanted to make a separate video on how to use them. So that is what I will be doing in this video. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, always let me know in the comment section down below. And also if you have any requests of like video ideas for me to do, definitely let me know as well because I'm always open for some good video requests. And I love to make new art stuff anyway. So yeah. And if you are new, of course, welcome. <laughs> I would really appreciate it if you would like to subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Which is at least three times a week. But thank you guys so much for watching on forehand. I love you so, so much. And as usual, I hope to see you in my next video as well. So let's get into the video, but before we're going to do that, I wanted to share with you what I used on forehand, because of course you can apply these stickers to the bare nail or even on a base coat, but I am going to be placing them on a base coat layer as well as two coats of nail polish. But first up, the base that I used is the Repair and Care Base Coat by Essence Cosmetics. It is definitely one of my favorites and it pretty much works like a dream. Then I have added two coats of this beautiful Zoya polish. It really doesn't matter what kind of nail polish that you use. Just make sure it is fully dry before you go in with your stickers. Because otherwise you might mess up the base. And this color is called Patrice by the way. It is one of my favorite colors by Zoya. And I am definitely going to do a nail polish of the week video about this as well. But yeah, I really love that color. But once again, make sure it is fully dry before going in with your stickers and the stickers that i am using i already showed you those really quickly in the intro are both by essence cosmetics i actually looked up the price um, they are only 1 euro 39 here in the netherlands but of course prices may vary depending where you live so yeah i got the bling bling one this one mostly has like crystal kind of stickers as well as some half pearls and i got the wildflower one as well which is more of like a florally sticker kind of print it's not super special, but they're quite cute and really easy to work with. So yeah, as far as tools, I am going to use tweezers as well as a silicone tool to actually press down the stickers like a little bit more firmly. Um, of course, if you don't have a tool like that, you can just use your fingers as well. It's as easy as that. But let's start with picking some different stickers. I'm just going to skip a couple of nails as well because it is quite repetitive. So I just chose the sticker that I wanted to place on my nail, peeled it off, took it off with the tweezers. Of course, if you don't have tweezers like these, you can use any type of tweezer or just use your fingers to peel it off. 
One tip that I would like to share is not to touch the backing, like the sticky part of the sticker too much with your finger, because that might cause the sticker not to really stick down well anymore. But yeah, it really is as easy as that. Just place whatever kind of sticker you want wherever you want it on the nail. The most important step of this entire like sticker placement process is just to make sure that your base layer is completely dry. If it is not completely dry and you're pressing down the sticker, it might cause some like weird lining around the sticker and that is not a pretty sight. So basically pretty much just choose whatever sticker you want to place. I really love this one and I thought it would look really cute around the cuticle area. Of course, if you have very small or more narrow nails than I have, you can always cut it down to size before you stick it down or maybe just stick it down and cut away the excess sticker with like little nail scissors or something like that or maybe like nail clippers. Those are very, very sharp and work really well to actually cut down the size of stickers of course always make sure to be working carefully because you don't want to cut yourself in your finger or your skin or even your nail you know always be careful when doing stuff like that but yeah i'm just going to skip the rest of the nails for these wildflower stickers and continue with the bling ones because I love adding a little bit of bling to my manicure and this is such an easy way. So I'm just going to grab some random ones, some random pearls as well and just place them next to the other stickers or wherever you want to place them. Of course you can always use loose gems and crystals as well. I have an entire like gem collection. If you're curious about that I will definitely leave in the end screen a little link to my nail art collection i have recorded it like two years ago already so there is like a lot of more stuff added the last couple of years but i definitely need to like redo my collection and record a new video about that but yeah that's a whole other story but if you're curious to see more like gems crystals glitter whatever check out that video when you're done watching this one but back to the video, because I really wanted to place a heart-shaped like gem sticker to my nail as well. But sometimes these are quite hard to get off of your tweezers. So it's actually a little easier to just put it like face down on your finger and then just place it onto the nail with your finger. It's like a really easy, once again, you really don't need a lot of different tools to do nail art like this, especially with like gem stickers like these. It is sometimes actually easier to just place it onto the nail with your finger than to use actual tools for that but yeah of course make sure to press it down quite gently but firmly at the same time of course you don't want to mess up your base layer like of course i made sure mine was completely dry but if you don't have a lot of time but you do want to use stickers like these just press it down gently but make sure it has stuck to the nail surface and yeah, it, I think it's a pretty cute look. I also added a couple of pearls to finish it off. And of course you want to go in with a top coat afterwards to really seal it in. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think about these gem stickers and the wildflower stickers. I'm really curious to hear if you have got some of these yourself or how your sticker collection looks. Maybe I should even do like a nail sticker collection video. If you're interested in that, definitely let me know in the comment section down below as well, because I've got a ton. I've got like really affordable ones. They're mostly like pretty affordable, to be honest, because I don't like spending a lot of money on stickers. Um, I did get some questions on how well these last, especially if you're using smaller ones like these and you are going to use a decent top coat to seal it all in. Mine lasts at least like a week, I'd say. Of course, if you have shorter nails or you're using like the full on nail surface stickers, like the really big ones that cover your entire nail, do make sure to add a good base and top coat as well, because you will get a little bit of tip wear, especially if you're like doing a very manual job like I do, or maybe you work with your hands a lot doing other things in life than a job. So yeah, definitely make sure to really seal it all in. And if you have sealed it all in and it is completely dry, well, for me, it lasts 
at least a week. But I do switch off my manicures quite often because I do nail videos, of course, and because I feel like it's a lot of fun to do so. But yeah, this was the entire video already. So key things are make sure your base is dry, press the stickers down gently but quite firmly and add a good layer of top coat to elongate your wear time. But thanks so much for watching. I love you so much. And as usual, I hope to see you in my next video as well. Thank you.